Hey, what is up, everyone? This is Dark Sage 101, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Oh, uh, our last episode, we... Let's see, what did we do? Um, we got like... I, oh, yeah, we got over halfway through the uh, Palace of Winds, so that's pretty fun. Uh, now, actually, I do apologize for not uploading this uh, more frequently. Uh, my last upload of this uh, of this game was two days ago. Because uh, I actually did record this yesterday. It was just after uh, my second recording of Final Fantasy IV Advance, which will be up uploaded tomorrow morning. I changed it from uh, today to tomorrow morning. So today will be a one video because, uh, well, I'm going to be uploading this and uh, I'm going to be recording a another one of these, another uh, Legend of Zelda uh, the Minish Cap, and it will be a pre-record. So one will, uh, Final Fantasy will be, uh, will be uploaded on Monday, and then uh, Legends of the Minish Cap will be uploaded on Tuesday, and those will be also one video days. So my uploads are gonna be a little slower, but it's still gonna be every single day. So yeah. So without further ado, let's do this. And yeah, I, I did record this. Uh, yesterday but I actually died at the boss which is kind of funny because I've never died at that boss but I was like really off on my game yesterday so but now I'm kind of in the zone today so so let's go ahead and get this rolling Kill the stealth first while we're at it. Oh, okay, well. Or you can do that, one of the two. Do that. Nice. I just wanted to grab that really quick because I think there. Can we go up here? I don't think we can. Yeah, as you say, I don't remember from my. Uh, Pass recording going up there. Uh, I do remember these guys though. Where's my. Yeah, they're there. Of course. Do not kill me. I am almost dead right now. Drop a heart. Oh gosh. Okay, this I believe is the heart container right here. Oh gosh. Full health. Okay, well there's there's how you get that heart container. So if you want to know how to get that one, that is how you get it. Really not that hard, but you do have to get through a good amount of the dungeon to get it. Uh, that's the only heart piece in the dungeon, by the way, other than the last one, which is just a, it's just a full heart container. So that is the only heart piece in the dungeon. Do that for a second. For my turn. Got him. I. Um, how you actually do that is you just run into the into the mummy. Not when he's about to grab you, though. You just do that. There you, go. you just run into him with a flame lantern. It's pretty easy. And I'll unlock that. Uh, you can go back to the beginning of the dungeon to replenish your health, but I, but I have like full health right now, so I'm fine. Pardon me. I'm only losing like. Yeah, I'm only missing like three quarters of heart, which is really nothing, so this is fine. Do that. Oops. Should probably, uh. Um, should have probably dodged right there. Oops. Oh, come on, seriously? Man, I'm really off on my combos today. Oh, there's also another thing up here, other than these, because yeah, you can't go up there. 
Uh, you have to bomb this wall. And then you go up here, avoid the, uh, this pesky Stealthos. Jeez, I took a beating right there. I don't know why I tried to do that. Uh, if you go in the middle there, I believe that's... I don't think that leads you anywhere. No, it doesn't. Okay, you do have to be careful here. This is actually one of my favorite rooms in the dungeon. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. It's, it's just really creative. Ah! I messed up right at the end. I don't know, this room's just cool, in my opinion. I went too far down. There we go. You just have to be careful. And that will allow you to get a key, which is what we need. Uh, avoid those, as Link decides to be uncooperative. Hands are sweating. <clears throat> Probably because I haven't played this in ages. Go ahead. And go ahead. And this is what I like to do right here. I always like doing this. <laughs> that is so cool. It does like a little chain reaction. I love those. And that's how you unlock this. How do you... I don't remember uh, how you... Oh, you just go on the other side, yeah. I'll grab it later on, I guess. Should I grab it now? You know what, let's grab it now. It's not that hard to get to. That was unintentional. Uh, I do have to kill these guys again, though, which is annoying. They die in one hit, so this is fine. Floor masters. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Oops, not Pegasus boots. Before you asked, that was not hard to pull off, by the way. Even though I didn't time it very well. <clears throat> that was bad. Uh, right here. Or not. Huh. Okay, maybe I don't know how to get up there. That's not good. Um, whatever. We'll get it later. Besides, I think that's just a... Uh, I, think a I think that's just a rupee. I think it's like 150 rupees or something like that. Or 100 rupees. Moblins. Where's my bow and arrow? There we go. Oh, he went over there. Let's go this side. No, oh, because I went into a dead end right there. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, rip Kinstone. Yeah, I do that a lot. I just swap into the uh, rockscape just to do that, and then I swap straight back over to the bow and arrow. I do that a lot. I did not mean to do that. Don't. Oh my gosh. Keep in mind, I was at like full health going in here. Okay, there we go. As I just do that. There we go. Okay, I fall back off. Just, uh. 
do that, I suppose. If there's no point. Alright. Let's go up here. Like I said, there's only one uh, thingamajiggy. The uh, heart container, or heart piece. Yeah, there's only one in this dungeon. It's kind of weird, because every other dungeon, it's, I think they had... No, because KO Flames had one. Uh, Temple Droplets, I think, had two. And I think uh, uh, Deepwood Shrine also had two. And uh, Fortress of Winds had two as well. I don't know. Uh, no, Fortress of Winds had one. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, you would expect, like, a big dungeon like this to have more than one heart container, but there you go. Once we get done with this dungeon, oh my gosh, we're going to be doing a lot of side questing. Because now that we have the rocks cape. It's also going to allow us to get another technique, which is uh, pretty helpful. We're going to go technique uh, hunting after this. Okay, but anyways, boss time. And this actually, this fight is not really that bad. Although I did die, like, off screen. So. And you just spam. So. Oops. And you have to get on this, this guy. There it goes. Oh, pfft. wow. Don't clip that, guys. <laughs> Alright, this is where the fight starts to get pretty difficult because of that. And he starts shooting projectiles, which is annoying as well. Dang it, dude. Oh, by the way, if you guys don't know, these guys are stingrays. <laughs> yeah. They're just Zelda versions of stingrays. Ugh. And also, I don't know the name of the boss. I completely forgot the name of it. I'll probably mention it in the next episode. Looking pretty good right now. It's been a long time since I've, like, actually fought this guy. Got some nice shots in there, which is good. Yeah, as you can see, this is where it starts getting pretty difficult. Uh, you have to do this four times, by the way. Yeah, I know. Dude, go away, Ezlo. Do not do this. Thank you. Jeez. He interrupted me twice right there. You know, Ezlo, if you were fighting this boss, you wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't like you doing this. Yeah, you wouldn't like me doing that. Gosh darn it. Dude. Dang it. That's one thing I don't like the, about the Minish system in this game is it's so easy to shut it down. Oh my gosh, finally. I still gotta do this one more time though. Alright, come on. Hop on the Stingray. Don't get constantly hit by these guys. Come on. Hop onto them. Come on. Come on, Link. Jeez. 
Oh my gosh, this is so stupid. Okay, thank you. That was just inept. Okay. That was a heart. Worth. I'm gonna farm these guys for hearts. Forgot you can farm these guys for hearts, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do, so. Because I'm not dying in this fight. Uh, well, rip heart. Don't get hit by the stinger. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna do it this way. I mean, we're close to the end of the fight anyways. We gotta do this one more time, but yeah. If you guys don't know, I hate redoing things, so. Especially when I'm like, like super close to getting it done. Okay. I really would love if these guys would start dropping hearts, come on. Man, the drop turn's supposed to be really low. Yeah, they haven't dropped one yet. Come on. Come on, guys. Okay, finally a heart. Two hearts, yes. Okay, that's probably good enough. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's that guy gone. Oh my gosh, dude, seriously. Go away, guys, seriously. Stupid thing. Dude, please. Oh my gosh, dude, this is... I did not... I, I did not remember this fight being so obnoxious. Come on, guys. Okay, there we go. Alright, I think I got him. Yeah, I did. Good riddance. <sighs> yeah, that was actually uh, decently annoying. Cause I had to kind of do like a little intermission right there just to get uh, just to get health. Cause I had like two hearts, so there's no way I would have died in that fight. So there you go. There's the wind element. Oh gosh, finally, you got the wind element. The wind carries the seeds of flowers, scattering life across the land. The wind element is the embodiment of that power. All right, give me that. Definitely want that heart container. You know, I, I could care less about the chest. I think it's just a rupee. If not, it's a kinstone. It's really, no, it's nothing that we need. At last. We got all four elements. Let's go revive the sacred blade. Agreed. But first, side quest time. Which we'll, we'll do in the next episode. <laughs> Which will be uploaded on Tuesday. So, yeah. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was a kind of irritating fight. Oh my gosh, that was frustrating. Oh man, we did finish off the dungeon though, so that's good. Uh, I may come back and get that chest, but you know what? I don't really care what's in that chest. There's, I think it's just a kinstone, but... And then there's a button there that you can press to, to open up the door. It really doesn't do much, so... But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one, which will be tomorrow, um, which will be a Final Fantasy IV Advanced video. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.